The map's up there. Hmm. Yeah, and we're down here. So yeah, how the heck are we gonna get to that map? Well, I'll show you how in a bit. So yeah, we're playing as Ron. We can switch from Harry to Ron. As well. And now over here, well, we'll get to that in a bit. We need Hermione for it. And there is no Hermione right now. And there is a special ability that each character can do. Like as for Harry. Well, we'll talk about Ron first. He can open secret passageways and search through some bookshelves. As for Harry, he can jump across ledges. As so well, I'll tell you what Hermione does in a bit. So what we must do is go through this door over here. Those that dare to take the leap must also take care of their friends. Okay then. Why is it such a chore to get beans? There we go, and what Harry must do is, over there's a chest, beans, chest. and challenge shields. So yeah, to make Harry leap over a gap, Why do I get the feeling that this isn't going to be easy? run him at the engine, he'll automatically jump across, just like in Zelda. Take it steady. And now... Inside this chest, what could it be? There's a switch over there. A folio bro type page. Complete more pages. Collect more pages to complete your folio brutai. As I will read off the folio brutai pages. So what we must do is press select. We can go to Folio Brutai and aside from the Dementor, here's a pixie. Pixies delight in practical jokes of all descriptions. They have been known to seize unwary humans by the ears and deposit them at the tops of tall trees and buildings. As that's all I gotta show you for now. And over there is a challenge shield, where instead of collecting challenge shields from spell challenges like in, Some kind of switch over there. Like in Sorcerer's it. Stone, these challenge shields give you house points. Collect challenge shields to earn extra house points, like we got 10 points for Gryffindor already. And now... There are three switches. What we can do is to move Harry along narrow ledges, push him up against the wall, then move him sideways along the ledge. Also known as shimmying. Which I don't know if I want to call it shimmying. Harry, can you get to it? Since I will play Uncharted in a bit. I'll do a walkthrough of Uncharted, that is. Watch it! Which I'll get onto that later. Okay, what we must do is push the switch then what we can do is go to the other switch before time runs out first I gotta collect some beans now you must push them up against the wall and you can press X to step away You've missed the switch. There's one on the other side of the room. 
How did I miss a switch? But I gotten all three switches, and oh no, Pixies. Where instead of M music, it's Pixie music. And they've got Ron. What could have been Neville Longbottom? Okay, all you use is Flipendo on most objects. On most creatures like Pixies. And the Folio Brutai pages don't even tell you how to defeat these creatures. Okay, will you stop throwing pixie balls at me? Okay then. There's one more pixie left who has Ron. Yes, Ron, wicked indeed. And then there are other puzzles in this game, such as like an Uncharted. And then we'll do a walkthrough of Uncharted Drake's Fortune later on in the PlayStation 5. As you all know, I do have a PlayStation 5 if you've seen my major announcement. And an Xbox Series X as well. So I'll be doing that walkthrough of Uncharted Drake's Fortune on the PlayStation 5 from the Nathan Drake collection. Do you need my help? And as for my other walkthrough, it's going to be to be announced, but it's most likely going to be Ratchet and Clank for the PlayStation 5, which is of course a PlayStation 4 game played on the PlayStation 5. Anyway, over here. Harry can't open passageways, even though he admitted he can do it in Chamber of Secrets and Sorcerer's Stone. So it looks like Ron has to do it for him. He can open secret passages. Aha! The old Weasley touch does it again. Well, of course, as it runs in your family. And then over here, there's a door. Friends must work together. And then there's an eye, and a mirror, and a crystal ball. Let's see if we can work this out. Yeah, all we can do is work this out. What we can do is move this trunk out of the way. We can just pick up there's and. No way I'm lifting this on my own. Use L1 to call your friends, which we barely use in this game. I need you to help me lift this. But you can use it when necessary. Once you push it up, a light comes out. We must get to that mirror. So we will drop it over there. To get to that mirror. Climbing onto a trunk can be a good way of getting to otherwise unreachable ledges. Ron, I'm sure that mirror does something. Of course it does something. Which is why it's up to Harry to get to that mirror. First over there is a chest. Wonder what could it be? Good. And it's a wizard card. And then what we must do is get, that, get to that mirror after collecting some beans. And we step on that mirror to turn it to that crystal ball over there, which shines at that eye. Then the eye closes and out comes the stairs. Wicked. Okay then. 
What we can do is keep moving along. Now where there's another challenge shield. And yes, there will be some tutorials like tasks that could be popped up repeatedly. Like search around the room for some help or use a right analog stick to rotate the camera. And now we can do is go to another room. Another puzzle? Oh great. Yes, we are at another puzzle. Over here's a gear. What just, will this do then? Yeah, we'll see what it does. But I just want to double check to see if I got that wizard card. I did get that wizard card. And the first three cards are from Quidditch. And there should be some more collectibles around here somewhere. It's up to Ron to open those secret passages. Like here's one right here. Over here's a pixie. And it's stuck in a corner. And then Harry can also help cast Flapendo as well. Or in a character that you're not playing as. Then there'll be more passages right here, which you open, where there's a chest. Over here is not a wizard card, but some beans. You can get them from chests as well. And one of them should be another chest, and one of them should be a pixie, like this one over here is. You guessed it, a pixie. Try to get rid of that pixie. And now we can go to this other passageway. Over here is a chest where it should be a wizard card. Great. Yeah, I was right, it is a wizard card. And also, you've completed the Quidditch card set. Harry's endurance has increased. So yeah, if you've collected all the wizard cards in each content, you get the fifth card automatically, and you also get tasks completed like endurance or more house points or something like that. But anyway. What we have done is collected all the wizard cards in the Quidditch section. Like here's Cyprian Yaudal, Jocelyn Whitecock, Leopoldus, Leopoldina Smethwick, Roderick Plumpton, my personal favorite, and Barbara Sprag, which we automatically get. And I will collect the rest of the sections in the wizard cards across Hogwarts in the grounds. And also, we have been living through the coronavirus pandemic. I always wonder, let me switch to Harry by the way. What would have been like if there was a first case of coronavirus in Hogwarts? Do you want to try casting spells on this? Yes, Ron, I will cast a spell at it. You can just cast Flapendo at it repeatedly. Three times. I can't climb this. And Harry can reach high places by climbing up ropes. Right here. Harry can also climb, which is what Ron and Hermione can't do. So yeah, what I've been wondering is... What would have been like if... There were cases of coronavirus at Hogwarts. Make sure you don't 
fall off. And I won't fall off this catwalk as our pixies. So yeah, if there was coronavirus at Hogwarts, then what would the witches and wizards do in Hogwarts? Like maybe Hogwarts would be closed and then the classes from Hogwarts would have to be online through Zoom. Or maybe we could return to Hogwarts and all the students and staff and professors would have to wear masks. This is giving me the creeps. And then there would be most cases of coronavirus in the hospital wing. And then Madame Pomfrey could get COVID. So yeah, it would be crazy if coronavirus would hit Hogwarts. If there would be any coronavirus cases in Hogwarts. But yeah, now we've defeated the Pixies. Gotten all the beans here. Uh oh. Almost in fall. That would have been bad. But now there should be a rope to climb down. And Harry's hands must be burning. We can drop down. Before we get to that challenge shield, let's do is collect some more beans from those vases. Search the room for objects that may help. This is what you'll see repeatedly. Oh, didn't notice that bean. But now once you go to that challenge shield... Uh oh. It closes on me. Yeah, I can't get back to there. But at least I got the challenge shield and 30 house points for Gryffindor. So he can't switch to Ron anymore. He's got to find his way back to Fred and George's shop. But we go to the next room then. Know that help is always at hand for every true mischief maker. Then let me collect some more beans. And these vases and the beans are already here. Beans are right here, and over here is another chest. An owl treat. We get an owl treat. We also do call Hedwig here. And it's the Monster Book of Monsters again, which is actually used for Care of Magical Creatures class. Oh, got a cast Expelliarmus, or will pen to it when its mouth opens. Yeah, when it's shooting something at you, you either use Expelliarmus or you can cast Lependo when its mouth opens, and we defeated it. And then what Harry can do is take out his shoe, let the book eat the shoe, and then Harry can just step on it, even though it'll come back being aggressive. But now over here is a portrait. So, boy, what is the password? What is the password? I think that must be Edgar Stroger, as you can tell by the sneaker scope. Password? And we don't know the password yet. And you don't see any portraits in this game except for Edgar Stolger and the Fat Lady to the Gryffindor Tower. That's all you see here. Unlike in the PS1 version of Sorcerer's Stone. But anyway, let's call Hedwig. Where there's a podium to 
Call Hedwig where feeding Altry said Hedwig allows you to control her and perform tasks for Harry. And we press X to call Hedwig. Hedwig! And now all we must do is feed her an Altry. Here you go. Elops, the best thing for a happy, healthy owl. And now Hedwig can get the Marauder's map for us. It's like controlling three characters, like in Grand Theft Auto 5. Press and hold, circle to fly, and then it's reverse, but normal for me, and then Hedwig has got the Marauder's map. So it's like Harry as Franklin or Michael and it's like a GTA 5 characters for Harry, Ron and Hermione and then Hedwig is Chop. The I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. So Mooney, Wormtail, Padfoot and Prongs presents the Marauder's map. And Mischief Manage is never s mentioned in this game. And that's the only time Harry says I'm sol I solemnly swear I'm up to no good. In this game that is. Maybe I'll go from the other side just in case if there are any beans and there are no beans. But there are beans right here, and then we've already gotten 60. And then over here, we got a challenge shield, and now we can say the password to Edgar Stroger. Surreptitiousness. And the password Please step through, young sir. is surreptitiousness, even though it's not mentioned. But as of now, we avoid being seen. Forgot to show you the Marauder's map and select. And then, once you get the Marauder's map, it shows you a map, just like in Chamber of Secrets and Sorcerer's Stone. Only this time, it shows you where other people are. Anytime and anywhere. Well, mostly anywhere. And now what we must do is avoid being seen. Gotta watch out for these suits of armor. And then there are also prefects here. And you also see this task popped up a lot. You can move the camera around using the right analog stick, which is what we don't really need to see. So yeah, stealth sections are that stealth sections are a lot different in this game. Where if you get seen, then you're done. And you have to start over from the beginning, back where you came from. Not all the way, but back where you came from home the beginning of the stealth section. There's no leg locker curse, but if you get caught then you have to start over from the stealth section that is. It's not only prefects but these suits of armor. Let's try to avoid being seen. Made it through here but we'll go to the other side. This one should be a little easy. Obviously, you would get caught here if you went through the other side. You can just push the switch. There's another challenge shield. If you get caught by the suits of armor's purple beams, then you will get caught. And now, another stealth section. 
with another challenge shields. What you can do is stand in the shadows to avoid being seen. Because you won't get caught if you're in the shadows from those suits of armor. Whoa. So over here, there's a chest. But it's a bean. Yeah, it's a bean. You will see a lot of beans more often. From chests, that is. Okay then. You won't get seen in the shadows, so you can shimmy your way or push it back against the wall and avoid being seen that way. And once the beams are on the other side, you can stay in the shadow until the suits of armor looks the other way. So yeah, stealth was much better. Here are some treasure chests here by the way. Stealth sections were much better in Chamber of Secrets. Which was so good it gave me nightmares as a kid and still does right now. But stealth sections in Prisoner of Azkaban aren't really that scary. It did horrify me as a kid from stealth sections in Chamber of Secrets. But not so much in Prisoner of Azkaban. So now, now that we got the beans from the chests, let me double check. Yes we did and we can move along to the East Wing, if that's what it's called. And over there is Professor Snape. It's not just suits of armor. It's also prefects that you want to avoid being seen by. And Professor Snape when necessary. And I think Professor Snape usually takes away the Marauder's map from Harry. But he doesn't in this game. Even though he originally does it. Let me just step in the shadows to avoid being seen. Uh oh. Let me step in the shadows. Try to avoid being seen. Step in this shadow. Okay, I can step my way over here. It's Professor Snape over there. Uh oh. We will come back here. Now we must go before Professor Snape catches us. To Glenmore Peaks Corridor. And I made out without getting caught. Did you get it then? What's it like? It's brilliant! Well, our job here is done. Feel free to come by anytime. We're sure to have something of interest. And at a very reasonable price. Hey look, your remember all's flashing. Do you want to have a look at your task list and see what it means? I hey will look, in a bit. Your remember all's flashing. And to look at the task list, you can press select to go to the inventory. Thought so? We've done everything we needed to. Well you can end the day if you're if you've completed all the tasks. However, we're not done yet. This is more of a collect-a-thon. As yes, we can press X to end the, to end the day. But we're not going to do that yet. And now we can switch to Ron as over here is a secret passage. Which a lot of you tend to miss. Over here is a chest. Sometimes I call them treasure chests, but it's actually just a chest. Good. I call them treasure chests by accident. And it's a wizard card. 
Then over here is the East Wing, yes, that's what it's called. But no ancient runes class. There's also a transfiguration class, but we don't go there as well. And then there's also no divination in this game where you don't see Professor Trelawney. I can't think of anything else to do. I can. Why don't we go to Fred and George's shop? Now we've got like 60 beans. How many beans do we have? 65 beans to be exact. So now what we can do is go to the to Fred and George's shop. Even though we only have 65 beans. So, it's a lot different from Sorcerer's Stone and Chamber of Secrets. And by the way, I'm not really going to call them PS2 versions of the games, since you know what I'm talking about. If I ever need to say PS1 versions of the games, then I will say PS1 versions, but not the PS2 versions. So, when you switch characters, like for Harry, all you see is a collector's card. How much is this card? 100 Bertabots every flavor beans. And a potion vial. A Wiganwell potion vial. And nothing more. However, when you switch to Ron, look at these, Ron. You do see more stuff. Which only Ron can get. And the same thing goes to Hermione. Anything else to do. Like for stars, we'll get some stink pellets. This pack of stink pellets, how much is it? Ten Bertie Bots every flavor beans. Just ten beans. A great choice. Tell you what, we'll set you a challenge. See these things? If you lob a stink pellet into them just right, we'll tip over. And if you can get all 20 of them around the school, we'll give you an extremely rare collector's card. So yeah. This is a challenge, more of a collect-a-thon. Start off with 10 stink pellets. Which Fred and George find a lot useful. So we'll switch to our stink pellets and when you see these cauldrons, I think I'm going to call them stink pellet cauldrons with the snakes. Stink pellet cauldrons with the snakes, but I'll just call them stink pellet cauldrons for short. What you do is aim at it and then that cauldron tips over. And then over here is Ron's challenge where for the sink pellet challenge we only got one. We've already got one. And now we're left with 55 beans. So it looks like we don't have enough for everything. Save the dung bombs for later. How much for a box of dung bombs, right? Twenty thirty bots every flavor beans. Yeah, we'll get them later since we There's don't no really need them right now. I think it's time to turn in. Thought I was gonna get a bean here. But no. And then Ron can search some bookcases, like dung bombs, another dung bomb, but usually beans. And I guess that's it for Fred and George's shop. We'll go back to Glenmore Peaks Corridor. Then what we'll do is go back to the common room and end the day there. Since there are some more stuff that I want to get. In the 
Besides getting hit by flying books. No, I want to aim at that book. I will collect more beans from those bookcases. Which is what only Ron can do. And then there are dung bombs. And a cauldron cake. So now we'll go back to the 6th floor There's corridor. To I think it's time to turn in. And there are more flying books. However, they do not come out just yet. It's time to turn in. Anyway, I'm tired. What I'll do is just search for some items in the bookcases, like dung bombs, birdie bot's bean, and another birdie bot's bean. I can't think of anything else to do. And another. And another. And some more dung bombs and we already got five. So we'll just go to the grand staircase. Then we can go down to the staircases. But first, I like that cat for my knees. It's definitely got it in for poor old scabbers. Yeah, Crookshanks is chasing scabbers a lot, but it's in his nature. So what I was gonna say is that there's a stink pelt cauldron there. Well we got two. And now over there's a third one. Where would you look at that? We've already got three. Two more and we can get a collector's card from Fred and George. There's nothing more to do. I think it's time to turn in. And we can go down to no lower than the third floor. also go to history of magic which is the only door that's unlocked aside from the sixth floor door it's time to turn in anyway I'm tired yeah I'm tired as well since it's almost 10:30 at night as I do have a day off from work today and I'm working four to nine tomorrow. And there are some more beans. Would you get out of my way, Harry? I'm trying to get some beans here. We really should be going. And there's a secret passage which Ron can open. It leads to somewhere, but I'll show it to you in a bit. There's nothing more to do. I think it's time. Or actually, I'll show it to you right now. All there is is a shortcut to the fourth floor. Come on, let's go. A cauldron for some beans and a chest. Excellent. Or it's a folio brutai page. Or we'll see what it is. Where's a dragonfly? Toasted dragonfly thoraxes are an essential ingredient to certain certain potions. We can also see potions ingredients instead of just creatures.
There will be more to collect, but first, to go. let me talk to Sir Kodak. help you on your quest, but warn you to be of stout heart, for the worst is undoubtedly yet to come. I can't think of anything else to do. And all Sir Kodagan says is crazy stuff. And you also get stink pellets from some bookcases. Be there by now? Oh my god, Harry. Why do you keep on yapping? We will go after I collect some more beans. Must you collect my collect must you Interrupt my collectathon just by yapping. And we'll go to the fat lady's corridor who is right here. You really should be going. Already got 70 beans. 71. And then there's another stink pellet cauldron over there. And then let me have Harry say the password, password to the portrait of the fat lady. Fortuna Major. It's Fortuna Major this time. We don't hear her sing like in the Ch Prisoner of Azkaban movie and then breaks the glass. That was busted in Mythbusters anyway. Anyway, you can also talk to some students. I can't sleep. I, I can't stop thinking about those horrible dementors. <sighs> like over here is possibly Neville Longbottom and some more students. Have you been to Fred and George Weasley's shop? They've got all sorts of great stuff. Yeah, they do, but I don't really talk to students that much in this game. And over here is a secret passage. I can't think of anything else to do. And there's also a girls dormitory, which is why what I forgot to mention. Where everything is different in this castle for this game. We really should be going. Over here is a secret passage where there's a chest. It's time to turn in. Good. Yeah, good indeed. Got ourselves a folio brutai page. And it should be a troll. The troll is a fearsome creature up to 12 feet tall and weighing over a ton. Notable for its equally prodigious prodigious strength and stupidity. Trolls are particularly attracted to unpleasant smells. We'll see the troll in a bit, but far from a bit. They will be seen later on this game. Show you what I mean once we get to them. And the missing notice board item is a prefect badge. Now? There's nothing more to do. I think it's time to turn in. Which we'll get for our next mission. And Hermione should be around here somewhere. Sorry for pushing you away. Just need to get through. And now... We need to go. We're already in the common room. Why are you still... yapping? Let me go to the boys dormitory. Just so Ron can open something from the trunk. From his trunk that is. Probably can get myself a bean. Come on, let's go. We're already here, Harry. Ron just needs to open something. Which is a wizard card. So that's 
Come on, let's go. Two wizard cards from each of the characters' chests. And over here, was that Seamus Finnegan or Neville Longbottom? Must have a different initial on it. Can't see it clearly. No, it's Neville Longbottom. Who you do see as a side character in this game. Well, not a side character really, but as a background character. There's also Dean Thomas and Seamus Finnegan, who you don't see in the game as well. But background characters in movies and they're mentioned law in the book. We need to go. Okay, we'll just go downstairs. We got let me see. Enough wizard cards, like one from giants and one from classical beasts. So, we don't really need to go down to the common room. But we'll end our day from there. Where I can switch to Harry. Not really I necessary. To I think it's time to turn in. And we are going to turn in right now. So let's do that, shall we? When you're done with the, all the tasks, you can just press sex to end the day. bright and early in preparation for their first Defense Against the Dark Arts class. However, not everyone was quite as lively that morning. Hermione! Uh... We've got Defense Against the Dark Arts class! Hurry up! So she goes, they go to Defense Against the Dark Hermione! Arts class, and Hermione uses her wand to fix her hair. She was doing a lot of studying. So yeah, there are cutscenes for when you're about to start a new day or night. But for this walkthrough, there will be two be continued cutscenes. We try getting a bean first, and I'll leave it off for here in a bit. This is a girls' dormitory. I don't think we'll be going back to the boys or girls dormitories. Over here are... Oh no. There are no initials except for Hermione Granger. Don't you just love collecting cards? They're hidden all over the place. Yeah, I know that. I do collect a lot of cards as I do need to collect them all to complete 100%. So now let me open this chest right here first. The only initial that says Hermione Granger. Great. And it's a Folio Brutai page. Where we'll see what it is. Should be a venomous syntacula. It is recommended that the only very experienced Attempt to approach a fully grown venomous tentacula. Their jaws, are, their jaws are particularly strong and can easily break apart chispurful carapaces. We've already gotten five of the fully brutai pages. This is unlike the marauding with monster pages or marauding with monsters pages from the book which we know about all the monsters itself just by getting the book from Chamber of Secrets and the Folio Brutai is a lot different where we collect all the pages okay then you just saw a to be continued cutscene which I'll leave it off for here 
And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe. And now that it's 2022, I should also be saying, be sure to hit that bell icon so you don't miss a video. Okay then, next time we meet, actually wait a minute, forgot to show you something, how to save. Just go to the pause menu and save the save slot as always for this game in this empty slot over here. So yeah, we'll start out the first day of the term for the next part, as I'll see you guys for later.